Hey guys, today we are going to talk about quasars. A quasar, also known as a quasi-stellar object, abbreviated QSO, is an extremely luminous active galactic nucleus, AGN, in which a supermassive black hole with mass ranging from millions to billions of times the mass of the sun is surrounded by a gaseous accretion disk. How are quasars formed? A quasar is formed when a supermassive black hole at the center of a galaxy has enough material around it to fall into the accretion disk to generate the energy to power it. The only galaxies with enough material to create a quasar are young and colliding galaxies. Where are quasars found? Astronomers think that quasars are located in galaxies which have black holes at their centers. The black holes may provide quasars with their energy. Quasars are also bright that they drown out the light from all other stars in the same galaxy. The word quasar is short for quasi-stellar radio source. What's the difference between a pulsar and a quasar? The radio waves of a pulsar escape from its north and south magnetic poles. A quasar is those who look like stars but they are extremely luminous objects at all wavelengths. Pulsars are highly magnetized rotating neutron stars, while quasars are extremely powerful and distant active galactic nuclei. How are quasars detected? Unlike optical telescopes that rely on visible light, radio telescopes detect radio waves. If you imagine, if you examine an image from a radio telescope, you will see that quasars appear bright. The first quasar ever to be identified was discovered in the early 1960s by astronomer Alan Sandage, shining so brightly that they eclipsed the ancient galaxies that contained them. Quasars are distant objects powered by black holes a billion times as massive as our sun. Quasars are the brightest and most distinct distant objects in the known universe. In the early 1960s, quasars were referred to as radio stars because they were discovered to be a strong source of radio waves. In fact, the term quasar comes from the words quasi-stellar radio source. Quasars are very mysterious objects. How big is a quasar? While they vary in size, the most common size is most about 5 on this graph which equates to 100,000 AU or about 1.5 light years across. That might seem pretty big, but remember that these objects are brighter than our galaxy, consisting of 200 billion stars. On a galactic scale, these objects are tiny. Quasars are typically more than 100 times brighter than the galaxies which host them. Quasars also emit jets from their central regions which can be larger in extent than the host galaxy. That's it for today everybody. Vibrant Twilighter signing off.